Hello everyone. I just wanted to um, show you how to uh, fix hair and um, add hair to an image. I had some questions on an image I posted recently um, about how did I add extra hair. So we're going to do that now. Um, so I've got my image here. And what I'm going to start to do is I first want to kind of add volume to her hair. So I'm going to come up here. First of all, I want to um, duplicate my layer. On a Mac, that's Command-J. Um, so I'm going to come up here to Filter, Liquify. And what I want to do is just add some volume. And with curls, I like to enhance the curls as well. So up here, um, I might come up here and just add, just kind of even this out a little bit. No, not too much. And here, with the curls in the direction that the curl is going. I want to pull a little bit in that direction. And we need to be careful when there's clothing nearby because otherwise it'll distort and warp the clothing. So it's just going to be very little. Oops, sorry, that was this way. Okay. And then here, I'm just going to pull out a little bit. Oops, let me make sure. It didn't affect the face there. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at a preview real quick, see what we have. Yep. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then for adding some hair, so what I'm trying to do, this strand here, um, you know, it may or may not bother you, it's um, kind of personal preference, but I would, I'd like to just fill in the hair here so that we don't have um, this gap. I guess for some it's okay to leave like that, but I'd rather fill this in. And the same over here. Um, I'd like to fill this in. Um, and again, that's just personal preference. Um, and sometimes when you're, you know, taking a photo, you're behind the camera, I might miss some details if I didn't catch that at the time. Otherwise, I would have uh, fixed the hair a little bit better. But let's try it. So I'm going to take the lasso tool. It's either L on your uh, keyboard or uh, if you have it here in your toolbar. And I'm going to feather it maybe... Um, maybe 10 pixels and let me increase that here. So what I want to do is create, fill this in, but I want it to look like this hair. So I'm going to grab some of this hair. I'm going to see if this works. Okay. And then I'm going to right click and select layer via copy. So now I have a copy. This layer has a copy of what I selected. With the uh, move tool or V, I'm going to move it. And I'm going to place it and see oops, what we can do here. My computer's a little slow. Sorry about that. Mm. 
I'm gonna, I'm so sorry, I have to wait for my computer to catch up. <laughs> As I'm recording, it tends to slow down. All right, let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to um, use the transform tool, so Command T. I'm going to size this a little bit here. I want this to fit, see, in this little area. And I'm okay with having a little gap right here. And then up here, I'm, I'm going to take, um, let's see, right click, warp. I'm going to pull this up a little bit more. Let's see how this looks. Positioning it, I think it would fit. And then I hit enter. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is use a layer mask, and I'm going to actually invert it for a second here. Use the brush tool with white, um, and I'm going to start painting in the hair. And I want to try and keep this line. Oops, sorry about that. See how it looks. Let me erase the parts that I don't want. Here, what we can do is lower the opacity and just paint away and paint back and just see what looks right to you. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. I have to come back to my layer, L for lasso tool, and let's grab some of this hair. 
and right click layer via copy. Let's add a layer mask. Command T and let's move it into place. And see what makes sense here. I'm going to size this a little bit and right click warp. Let's see what we can do with the warp tool. Enter. And then again, I'm going to Command I to erase, well, not erase it, but hide it. Use a soft brush. 100% opacity for now. The flow doesn't matter too much. And I'm going to start painting in. In this case, I think it'll work. Let me lower the opacity now and paint away some of this back and forth. And as long as it looks believable, I'm happy with that. Then we can even go back and combine our layers. Command Option Shift E. And then we can go back and do another liquify if we want. And maybe you know, just shape this a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's look at a before and after. So small changes, but subtle, and it makes a difference. Um, again, it's personal preference. Um, you know, if that's something you don't want to do totally fine but I'm just showing you how you might want to do it um, if you needed to in a photo. I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to check out my online uh, classes. I teach one-on-one -on -one live classes um, and that would be on my website. I can um, I have the link in the uh, down in the description. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.